This video is dedicated for every individual watching who wants to make a positive change in their life and are willing to do the work. Check this out. Most people want more and more and more events, right? Now, let's say you're barely getting started or you've been in the industry and you're averaging one to two events a month and you're like, that is not enough. I need to level up my game. I want to get to like at least two to three events a month, please. I don't want my stuff collecting dust. So I'm going to challenge you guys with this concept because this is exactly what I applied into my business and it's made a crazy difference and we've had an upside. I'm going to show you exactly what to consider before you guys start spinning your wheels to try to get as many events as possible. If you're averaging, let's say anywhere from $400 to $500 per event, and you're averaging one to two a month, we'll work with that. But before we jump into how do we get more events, how do we get more bookings, first, let's go ahead and work with what we got, right? So let's increase what we're making by 25%. Now we are at $500 minimum per event. So our bottom line was increased by 25%. So now we're making an extra $100. What does that mean in a larger scale? Well, that means that when we start getting two to three events, we're making a lot more money than we expected because we're actually, with what we currently have, with our model, our infrastructure, the equipment that we have, we are actually getting compensated at a higher rate. How does this look like when it gets simplified? I'm gonna simplify this here for you and then we're gonna jump into some of the objections that you might have that I had, so I'm gonna share that with you as well. Now, say for example, you are working at a $10 rate and you're working 30 hours a week and you tell your boss, boss, I have a kid on the way, inflation, X, Y, and Z, I need to make more money. So you ask your boss if you can get an extra shift, some more hours. So now you're making $10, and you're working out 40 hours. So the boss approved it, checked the budget, and the boss said, okay, we'll go ahead and give you an extra 10 hours. That way you can have a bigger check. So what we're doing here, guys, is we're not valuing our time. Instead of working more hours to make more money, we should have negotiated a higher paying rate, okay? Anywhere from 15 to $20. That way we're working 30 hours, but we're making a lot more money now because we're being compensated either at 15 or $20. This is the exact same concept for people that are working an hourly rate for a boss. Same concept we should be applying for our services as photo booth uh, rental businesses, okay? And you're asking, well, David, my competition this, my competition that. Who gives a damn about your competition? Don't worry about your competition. Focus on the customer. Focus on your business. And if you focus on those two aspects, you'll come to the realization that that is way better energy spent in something that actually really matters, not slow mojo down the hill, uh, charging $100 an hour, okay? So back to this concept right here because I wanted to use this to simplify it. So this is exactly what I did, guys. I started actually asking for more money for my events, why not? So by the time I actually had this going on and then I finally used all of the content, the learnings, the experience, the strategy. Then when I started getting two to three events a month, I was making a lot more money because on minimum, I was making $500 an event. Now, of course, I'm making a little bit more than these numbers. And you might be thinking, well, David, I can't compete. I won't be able to get booked two to three to five events a month if my competition, again, competition, is charging way less. Guys, when Mercedes manufactured their vehicles, Mercedes was not thinking, let me go ahead and try to match prices with Nissan. Let me try to have a similar product than Toyota so that we can have vehicles within that price range. Mercedes did not think of that. Ferrari, Lamborghini did not think of that. And I don't want you to think like that. I want you to go out there and ask yourself, why am I doing this and for whom am I doing this? Who is my ideal client? And so what's gonna take us here and be compensated 25% more than what you're making right now? What are some things that tie into it? I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've changed that allow me to charge these prices 
with competition probably like two, three miles away and they're only charging like 400 bucks for the 360 booth experience. I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do or what you, sh you should consider trying to boost your value and also boost your profits, okay? I want you to focus on three main things. One of them is gonna be marketing. I want you to focus on your marketing. I saw this right. Then I want you to focus on your brand. Then I'm gonna want you to focus on your content. And they all tie in to one another, but I'm gonna break these down really quick for you guys. Your marketing is where are you marketing your business? Where are you promoting your business? And how are you promoting your business? Keep in mind that a lot of bigger businesses and corporations won't probably be on TikTok just yet. They're giants, they move a little slower. You need to probably use, most likely, I would consider using Facebook and Google for your marketing to target weddings, okay? That's where you wanna go ahead and use a marketing, okay? But it would be wise, because everything's moving so fast now, it would be wise to market across all social medias. And this doesn't necessarily mean you need to spend money on ads and running campaigns okay so how good is your marketing and within your marketing also we want to know what actually are you targeting for your seo we're going to go ahead and jump into the marketing seo aspect a little bit more in another video because when you are marketing you are targeting a certain audience which means you want to have your seo really optimized to target that specific niche okay second thing is your brand guys brand think of brand when you think of starbucks what do you colors do you think of you think of the green and the white when you think of target you think of white and red walmart that blue with white when you think of walmart you think of bad customer service you think of bad employee morale everything revolves around a brand so with that being said is when you have your logo and you have your brand ask yourself what emotion is this going to leave behind? What feeling does it strike when people see my logo and my brand? And I want you guys to think universal and then also think of your logo and your business name because that's part of your brand. Your brand is tied into your business's culture and personality. So think about the brand. What's going to attract weddings and corporate events is your brand. Are they gonna be aligned with your brand? So I'll give you an example for mine. When you guys go onto my social medias and you guys watch these videos, you guys will always notice that people in those videos, I capture smiles, giggles, a good time, and that's the, the brand. It's like you hire us, you're going to have a good time. And the videos that I put out, I always try to put out videos within 4K quality because I want those videos to show that our brand actually takes the time to produce high quality content. It goes aligned with the brand and it trickles down here to the content aspect of it. So if you guys are recording videos with your iPhone and then uploading them and that's all you're doing, at least you're doing something, but that's just not good enough. Guys, I sit in front of this chair here, on this chair, and I spent hours on my content. I'm editing, I'm you know, doing the color correction. And then when I replay, I'm thinking, okay, now let's add a specific filler music, okay? It could be hip hop music for a certain event. It could be easily, easy listening music that sounds more like a corporate background music. So also, if everything ties into it from the actual audio tracks that you are using to the type of video that you are using and also what is it selling? What is your content? It, your content has to say a story. Okay, so if you guys don't notice, tying back into my social media is, I'm starting to make videos that almost walk you through a story, and it's a short story. It's like a 45 second story, if that's all it really takes. So start focusing on your content. Now, when you put these all in a blender, mixed in together, then all of a sudden, you have this perception of your business, and not just that, but when people actually look at your business on social media, when they look at your logo, right? They look at your outro, they look at your photos, they look at your video, you no longer come off as a newbie, but you're coming off as a company, a high value company, a premium business, and corporations, even though, of course, to this day, they are, they are budgeting themselves, they're gonna wanna hire you because you are that person that they're looking for that's aligned again with their brand, their culture, their identity. 
And this is how I'm able to get higher paying clients that don't complain about prices. This is how I'm gonna get those high paying clients that will refer me to their, uh, within their network, they also have partners and they refer me to them as well. And say I'm making an event for uh, lawyers, right? Attorneys, dude, attorneys, lawyers, they have no problem paying these rates. But guys, we have to start targeting the bigger fish. We need to start really, really valuing our time. So don't focus on your competition anymore. Focus on the consumer that you want to cater to. Focus on growing your business. Let the competition beat themselves up, okay? Don't worry about them. I don't worry about them. I worry about my personal goals. I don't have competition. So I hope this video inspires you guys to really cherish and value your time here on earth. It's very short. And so I want you guys to start off right here, okay? If you guys are uh, averaging one to two events, that actually gives you enough content, enough experience to start cooking. Start cooking, baby. Start cooking, start raising your prices, start uploading better high quality photos onto your website and onto your social medias. Change some of the wording on your website. When people call you, make sure that you guys are giving them extra information, not just pricing and availability, but tell them what you're gonna bring to the table, how it's gonna make them feel. Let them know how that's gonna look like when the event is over, what's gonna be happening with the follow-up. Really, really enjoy your time with your clients, guys. It's not going to be a waste of time. However, it will be a waste of time if you're trying to sell yourself short and try to get as many bookings available with the current model that you have where you're making almost minimum. Because remember guys, there's a lot of costs involved when you're going to these events. Gas prices are going up as well. So your inflation needs to reflect within your prices, guys. Don't be shy. Value your time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The class is not over. Should be over? No, you know what? We should have another session. Thumbs up if you guys want to have another session like this.